active methylene compound and its reaction. In fact, in this video we are going to discuss just two reactions. One is alkylation reaction and another is how that active methylene compounds are converted into ketones. Now see here, in previous video we have seen the meaning of uh, active methylene compounds where this methylene group is very very active because of two acidic product and this methylene group is actually a reaction site for alkylation. Now see what happened if you want to do alkylation you have to remove hydrogen from active methylene I mean methylene group or you have to convert that compound into carbanion or nucleophile. So that can be done very easily when we treat this compound with the base. So if you remember this is a carbon acid. So if you use base there is just acid base reaction and see I will show you in more detail this base will abstract this proton by utilizing one of the lone pairs present on this base and you will get here C2H5OH so that is removed and this bond will reside over this carbon so you will get here carbanion or this is called nucleophile because of negative charge and extra pair of electron this carbanion is produced we have already seen in previous video there are two driving forces one is acidity of this proton because of two electron withdrawing group and another thing is resonance so this newly generated carbanion is re stabilized by resonance so because of this this is or we can convert this compound into carbanion more easily now once this carbanion is formed we call it as a nucleophile and if you remember this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction so whatever alkyl group you want to attach here not whatever actually there will be certain restriction but simple alkyl groups you can easily attach to this carbon by using nucleophilic substitution reaction see what happen if you remember this is acting as a nucleophile and this is providing pair to form a bond with this car alkyl group and at the same time you can remove this or this uh, living group is removed so this is somehow like SN2 reaction in fact it is SN2 reaction depending on which alkyl group you are using so this is a SN2 attack you can say so this X is removed and you can see here now this is alkylated product so up to this reaction this to this this reaction this is alkylation of active methylene compound now there are two routes I have shown here one is you can remove even this hydrogen and join your desired alkyl group here at this carbon or required alkyl group at this carbon and you can repeat that I mean this is this step you have to repeat again I am using this alkyl uh, I mean base and removing this proton just like this and forming this carbanion this is another nucleophile now here you have to uh, again repeating this step this bond is formed between R and C and X is removed so here you can use or uh, you can you can attach two alkyl group on the on this alpha carbon on this alpha carbon so up to this in fact up to this this is alkylation or double alkylation after that you can do one thing now the how that active methyl compound is converted into ketone that I am going to show first of all you have to hydrolyze hydrolyze means what this is ester and when we hydrolyze when we break this bond using a water in presence of this alkali or base so you will get that salt and when we add uh, acid in second step so this ester in fact is converted into acid so this carboxylic acid is formed so you have to convert this compound into carboxylic acid by just hydrolysis you are using base as a catalyst and to protonate 
to bring this hydrogen here you have to acidify this product that's why i have shown oh in first step and h plus in second step so once this acid is formed you have to perform one more step this is called decarboxylation decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide that you have to heat this product at high temperature so you can remove carbon dioxide i have shown that carbon dioxide by using a square a red square now you have to simply join whatever fractions are there outside of that square there is hydrogen and this carbon you just join this you will get this ketone so whatever alkyl group is required uh, you can join there and but the thing is if you are using this ethyl acetoacetate i forgot to mention its name but i hope all of you know the name of this compound this is ethyl acetoacetate so whatever ketone you are going to synthesize this ketone will be uh, will will be having this uh, this common factor i mean uh, acetyl group common so you can introduce alkyl group here at the place of hydrogen similarly you can uh, introduce two alkyl group if you want and then you can repeat this step hydrolysis here also you are using oh in first step and acidifying in second step so simply you have to remove this portion ethyl group and join their hydrogen now again the same step that is decarboxylation removing that carbon dioxide and joining this hydrogen at the place of carbon i mean carboxylic carbon this carbon here so you will get here ketone where two two alkyl groups attach that means whatever ketone you want to prepare that ketone is always having ch3 co group common and uh, you can introduce alkyl group at the place of hydrogen by using base and this alkylation steps so this is all about alkylation of active methylene compound and how active methylene compounds are converted into ketones thank you